Flipping over to the women's tournament, tipping off with North, Northrop and Northside. Northside's Noelle Thompson with the three as she tries to cut the big Bruin lead. There she is, and she is good. Working on that Bruin lead. Then it's Northrop's Destiny Jackson with the layup, and she extends the lead as they move into the second. To the second quarter, excuse me, to the third quarter, it's Jackson with the long pass to Samina Reed for the layup. Then it's just all Northrop from here as, as Tiana White gets it in the corner. She's going to bury a three, and Northrop beats Northside 68-26. to 26. It was a good win, a team win. Uh, we're trying to play harder and harder every game. Uh, it really is preparing us for tomorrow. It's huge. Um, it gave us more confidence, especially it being a blowout. It gave us it gave us a lot of confidence. So we just have to come tomorrow and build on what we did today. We really just got to focus on playing hard, number one, and then just getting back to being disciplined and doing what we do. The second girls game of the day, Snyder and Wayne. First quarter, a full court pass lands in the hands of Ania Hill. No one around her, she gets the easy lay-in. Wayne down by seven in the third. On the other end, Peyton Gorman, double teamed, but no problem for Gorman. She gets the mid-range floater to fall. Fast break for Jada Knip Kipney. Takes it all the way, coast to coast for the layup. And Snyder, your winners, 51 to 40. We kind of came in with a little bit of advantage with having um, girls who play multiple sports, so waking up at 7 a.m. for a game was nothing for us. So um, I think that we came in with energy and ultimately got the job done. In the final ladies game of round one for the day, it's Bishop Lures and Concordia. First quarter, it's a fast break, leaving Sarah Sylvester alone for three in the corner. That's a 10-0 run to start the game, and Lures is hot. Short pass inside to a cutting, Anika Nelson. She gets the end one to fall, and oh, baby, that was a good shot. No one from this game can stop Delaney Bailey. She's unconscious from three-point land, carrying the team high, and Lures wins 49-26. to We just got to focus one game at a time, not get ahead of ourselves. I think we played a really good game. We kind of like slowed down in the second quarter, but we picked it up in the third quarter when we came back out at halftime. 